An ideal electronic archiving and document management system is the one which is being configured once simply works in an attended mode. Its users may not even know about its existence, they just have needed documents in needed formats at their fingertips. And that's exactly how Abbey Recognition Server works. Let's overview document flow in a company. For example, originals of the contracts are received by courier or regular post. Then these contracts are scanned and placed in a graphic format in a folder which is monitored by recognition server, so-called hot folder. The rest is done in an attended mode. Abbey Recognition Server imports docs from the hot folder, recognizes them and then simultaneously exports it to all employees who need them at work in appropriate formats. For instance, accountants have their archive on a server A and they need contracts in searchable PDF format. Lawyers and managers are using server B. Managers work with searchable PDFs only, whereas lawyers need contracts in PDFs and an editable format such as Microsoft Word, for example. Let's see it in action. I launch Remote Administration Console, which is used to, to configure Abbey Recognition Server. I created a new workflow. A local folder scan docs was defined as an input hot folder for this process. So any document added to this folder in a graphic format will be automatically imported by Abbey Recognition Server. I also indicated that documents added to my hot folder can be in English or Russian language. By the way, look how many languages are available. They can be used separately or simultaneously. By the way, recognition of uh, multilingual documents is supported. After that, I defined four outputs. The first one is uh, a searchable PDF for the accountants and the folder is located on the same PC where recognition server is installed. Second and third outputs are for the lawyers. They need the initial documents in searchable PDF plus editable version in Microsoft Word format. Lawyers archive is located on another computer in the same local network. The fourth output is for the managers. Their files are located in a network attached storage and they need searchable PDFs only. Although I configured four outputs, it is possible to have as much as needed. And plenty of output formats are available from Microsoft Word and Excel to CSV and HTML formats. Once the workflow is configured, all we need to do to make a new contract available to everyone is copy it to the hot folder. For instance, here is a bilingual contract uh, which was saved uh, in a PDF format. It's not searchable now. I copy it. And paste into our hot folder and it was processed by Abbey Recognition Server. It's very simple, isn't it? The learning curve is almost zero. Now let's check the outputs. Let's open the folder for the accountants. The initial contract is searchable now. So it is possible to find some text inside. Copy it to another application. And it is even possible to find the contract remembering only some text from inside.
here is our contract. Now let's go to the lawyer server. Here we have the contract in searchable PDF format and uh, Microsoft Word. So if there is a need to draft a similar contract, a lawyer can easily do it. And finally, this is manager's archive on the network attached storage. Contract was saved in a searchable PDF format. By the way, this contract is bilingual and both languages were recognized correctly. I can run search and copy in English as well as in Russian. Let's copy a close in Russian. Here it is. And let's do the same thing for the English one. I hope that you have found interesting insights into processes of creation of searchable archives and management of scanned documents. Free trials of Abbey Recognition Server can be requested at www.recognitionserver.com. Thank you very much for your attention and if you have enjoyed this screencast, please like our Facebook page which is available at www.facebook.com slash abbey3a.